Good day, how are you doing my friends? I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Today I bring you this Komaso loader. It is a WA480 WA version. It is made by MTM. And it is the first time we receive this version of loader, this type. So we will open it to see how it is. Let's open it to see. Uh, this is only for adding hydraulic oil. So this one should be some decorations. Hand rail. Should be some. Uh, could be the filters, the engine, exhaust pipe, something. Hand rail. Got this manual. This manual for ESC for the motor. Yeah, for the ESC for the motor and servo. Okay, this is the way. We got others. We will open all to see. Here we got the controller. We open to see what is inside of this one. The cut it. Let's see what kind of controller it is. Uh, it is AT9S Pro, the controller. Now we got some de decorations here. Okay, AT9S Pro, this is the controller. I put it inside. Some oil pipe for stairs. And the oil pipe connections. Okay, this is the envelope. Should be some detail, I think. Yep, some detail. Take it off. Some muscle and some. This should be mud plate. Okay, this is our decoration. Put it away. We continue with the big eye. Here we got the, the bucket here. Okay, we first put it aside. Okay, we got a fork. Take out all the foam, so it will be easier to lift it up. Now it coming out a little bit heavy. This package is around 23 kg. And I think this loader is around 16 kg. Okay, we remove all this power so you can see clearly. It's all protected. Painting is very nice and uh, good. The package and the inside of this motor no damage. Okay, we also unwrap this one to see it. This side could be easier to cut, not to damage the painting. We 
got quick connection here. It's controlled by two cylinder. Okay, this is the fork, and they unwrap this packet. Okay, this MTM produced this one and the painting and the welding you see very nicely. Very good. Okay, later I will put the battery and uh, connect to the radio. We will start testing how this one running. We have already put the decorations, the handrail, mirror, and now we already fill up with hydraulic oil. We will put the battery and start running to see the function. Okay, first turn on the radio, then connect to battery. Okay, this one can be locked here. Put and tap the wires, switch on the power. Okay, power on, we put the cover. Okay, we will start. First, the engine sound. <coughs> engine start. So here is the putting the bucket. As you see, we also got another one, a spare one for the fork lift. That one also controlled by hydraulic. This one bucket only to put inside. Under there, we got the lock from here, under here. The lock will push out, will lock this bucket. It is controlled also by hydraulic. Okay, we put here, so the lock push out, we will lock the bucket. You will see from here. Here. Okay, now locked. Unlocked. Now it's locked. Cannot move anymore. Okay, bucket is ready. That time we will change to the the fork to see. Let's put it down and to see all the movements. Okay, so we will keep this on. 
Okay. Then also we got these turning lights on the top. It also can be changed. Another one. Flashing. Okay, another one. Quick flashing. Slow turning. And this slow turning is just now fast turning. Okay. So we will leave it flashing. And uh, so we run a little bit. Then I will show you how to change the, the fork. That fork you see also got hydraulic control to narrow it down or open it. Okay, what is more? Well, let's first change it. Okay. So, so we have to lock, unlock this bucket. Unlock. Okay, so now we can take it out. You see from down here got this this hole, this on the there got the pin to push inside we'll lock it. Okay, we put the bucket away, then we will put this the fork. First on the top have hook. We put the hook inside, and then this one in position, then we control the hydraulic to lock the pin. Okay, and then we lock it. Pump running already already locked. So here we see we got two oil pipe connection to connect to the hydraulic oil system. Inside got a little bit of oil, it's normal. So when we connecting, we push inside this quick connection well. And to need to see carefully, this quick connection well is locked. Otherwise we will be leaking. Okay, now it's locked, you see. Another pull out. So now we are we are not be leaking oil. Okay, another one also get it connected. Push it in. Okay, good. It's locked. From the connection, every time you open, we will be having a little oil. Especially when you remove it inside this pipe. Okay, this is not good. I need to. From this side, yeah, we need to put the pipe here, so not to not to bend this this pipe. If bend the the oil, we will be having pressure to, to pass the, the hose. Okay, so now we can start it to see how this fork moving. See from here, already got oil, got oil inside, then it can start. So we to hook on something to narrow it, then we can open it. We got two cylinder, is one here, one here. And in the middle it's guided by this rack. So it can move in, in the on the same rack and not to having some shake to secure the, by this one. Let's move to the most little position. Okay, let's run a little bit. switch off the engine sound so now we can hear it to see the details so from the back we got the light when turning also having the turning lights red light also we, we will open the cover we said before we put the battery inside here 
we got the ESC inside there it uh, should be uh, 11 channel 12 channel 12 channel yes this is receiver and uh, we got the power mass switch on here and under this seat under there from this side we can see the pump now, this one is the directional valve. The pump is here and the motor here. Here is the oil, hydraulic oil pump. Under here we got this one. Let's see. It is the directional valve and I got this one is the pressure release valve. Can, can control and adjust the pressure in the hydraulic oil system. Under here, this is the directional valve. So distribute the oil to the different cylinder to control the movements. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on here, no more to see. We close it. So we got here on top the exhaust, exhaust pipe. Here is the inlet filter, air inlet. And we got the ladder and the rail. It's, it's all metal. These are plastic, but this plate are metal. And this mud plate metal got rubber. This light, the cover, also the, the frame, also it's metal. So let's see this one. Okay, this main frame of the cabin also metal. So only the windshield are plastic. This door we can open it. We got on here. I I have put one small guy inside to drive to see more good. And inside the cabin, you see we got one screen. It's showing the battery voltage and the hydraulic oil system pressure. Okay, let's move forward. So we see the, the hub also metal and got big tire. And this arm, the arm controlled by two cylinder to lift up and lower. So the, the bucket movement is controlled by one cylinder. It's, it's connect here and this oil pipe got two line goes to here on there these two line is for controlling the quick connection to let go change the fork or change to the bucket and uh, we got these two holes here is for controlling this fork cylinder Okay, we see this side. Under there, we got two cylinder. Each side, one side, have each side got one cylinder. It's controlling the turning, also by hydraulic cylinder. Okay, this side, the door could also be open. Look a little bit inside the details. Let's close it. Okay, later we can. I, I can turn around for you to see on the, the chassis, you see the axle, the chassis, so how it is, be careful not to press too much on the decoration, yeah, it's okay, I need to lift up a little because we got the side light pushing a little bit, now you can see from here, okay, the CNC, this axle, this metal chassis is all strong metal. So this axle got a differential and a differential lock. You see here are the differential lock. Yeah, and now it's unlocked. And uh, so this here, here is a cutting joint, drive shaft inside. Here we got the transmission box with transfer case, transfer the power to front and the rear. Inside on there is the driving motor brushless. Okay, this one, the rear axle also got differential lock here, as you see. So here is all the chassis, as you can see. Okay, we can, I can control a little bit about the differential lock, you see here. So I will lock it. You see the movements, it's locked now. Also you can see front. Let's see from here. The front one is unlocked. Now it's locked. Okay. Okay, I will put this back. 
Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult because this one is so heavy, so not to to damage the decoration. Okay. So that's pretty much all of this. We see the details we're running and uh, see the functions. We have changed to this fork, this quick connection. So we have seen all of this. This one for the package around 33 kg and this naked should be this loader naked weight which should be 16 kg. Also quite strong metal and uh, very heavy. Very strong one. Okay, thank you very much. How do you like this one? Okay, what do you like to ask? Welcome to talk to me anytime. Thank you very much. I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. See you next time. Bye.